Mike, hey, it's Lee, and um, I'm trying to, to get a real quick video. It's about to rain now, but um, to point up on the steps, basically put in a mortar or polymer so that the holes are filled, um, gaps are filled, seams are filled, and um, let's, uh, let's, let's look at the hardy. This corner here is gone right there, and <clears throat> um, that second board goes behind the railing. The third board is starting to look bad and the fourth is getting better. So how about one, two, three here. Um, between the windows, don't, it doesn't look bad. This area is pretty good when you go right. Um, that's number one over the portico. I would take number two because you got to take number three. Number four is okay, but number five you've got the hump, and six you've got the hump, and then it starts to get better. So, let's see if I can get a, a a length here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. That's about 30 feet. So you're going to need three boards per run, and between the windows look okay. Um, <clears throat> Want to peek? Yeah. Okay. You see, number one down here is not good, and two looks okay. Um, behind this railing is a couple, three bad, and that looks okay behind that on that corner. But <clears throat> when you take a board, you got to take the whole thing because you can't cut it on the house because basically it's cardboard. Um, let's talk about this. Board one, two, three, four, five is hardy. So board six, seven, eight, nine, ten has got to be replaced. <clears throat> Eleven, twelve is hardy on the left side. It's not on the right. Thirteen has got to be replaced. Fourteen looks good, but fifteen has been faced now, so they got big holes in it. Okay, so it's pretty much this whole block if you leave a couple but then the labor to leave them and kind of work that board out is so extensive then you're upside down in it to the left of this guy to the right of that guy and a couple way up high and here's the rain i can't believe this um <clears throat> way up high here there's a few boards but also coming down three or four um and i got a phone call but I'm gonna get them to hold real quick. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Keep my lens clean. <clears throat> um, this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then it gets better. I'm not real sure what's up there. Let me see if I can get the sun out. Nope. Maybe I can see in the office, but uh, yeah, I see some bad boards up there, but uh, the rain is definitely working against us. Um, <clears throat> Son of a gun. Um, I've got them back up. No choice. All right. Um, uh, this side here, I'm going to count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it looks like, yeah, eight, nine, ten, about to the middle of the window. Okay, this block here. Going to the right, it gets better, but here again, you've got to take a full board. So that, for example, if we're going left to right, we got to pass the dryer vent to that first seam. And if for some reason they've got a three-foot board, the one above it's bad. On this side, underneath the window, that seam is bad. This board looks pretty good until you get the right side. The next one is pretty good on the left, but as you traverse right. And <clears throat> that's kind of a discussion there. So probably out of this block, everything from roughly mid, or how about one, two, two into the window, okay? So the one that strikes the bottom, the one, two that falls directly into the center, 
and let's go up. Um, it looks like everything is bad up until one, two, three down from the top. And let me try that again from the soffit. One, two, three, four, five. At number six, it looks like the bottom is starting to fail. So we'll take from, from bottom up. All right, that little four inch board, I'm not counting that. So we'll start with the first full piece of hardy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten. And that's negligible. All the way down. But down here, it's got bubbles, meaning um, not not bubbles, um, um, curves, protrusions. It's poking out, and uh, it needs to be flat. Critters love to go up underneath this stuff. And uh, let's uh, clean my lens off and get on that deck. Okay. Yeah, see that's that's behind it, which I think that's what you found. Um, these I would take them all because of the way they're installed. And you see the bottom one that needs flashing. I don't know why they flash two and not flash three. This one that's hardy, but it's done so poorly it's not functioning a siding um, and if you're gonna take one kind of thing um, let's see all right I would start there get these two <clears throat> but while you're there it's it's no additional cost to get the bottom two to make sure you got a good job and you see the gap there that's ridiculous okay that trim boards failed see it I'm po poking my finger in it what we do with that is um, probably take the bottom two feet. There's no caulk here on the sides, which is caulking needs probably for the whole house. Um, but I shouldn't say stuff like that, like that, because we need to examine closely. But it is a demonstration where caulk has uh, not been applied. You've asked for the bottom here, and we'll take about six to eight inches to a foot off and replace it with a new one that's kind of tricky but i think we can do that because this is i would guess the two thousand dollar door or it would get there real real fast um start here well here or here um you see how hard plank supposed to be or masonite any any lap siding okay and it's it can't stick out so one two three four five six seven eight nine and that little piece and the painting down there in that corner well we just didn't do it I mean I don't know if there's any caulk but um, you know we got to get a finger in here and my fingers aren't small enough and I got to get caulk in that hole so that rails got to come down to do this correctly how is it assembled it's got a single bolt in it which isn't good but I hope it'll hold um, I don't know what craftsman got involved in this thing, but they didn't help these people. <clears throat> it makes my job hard when folks do stuff like this. Um, I don't know who's doing the rain dance, but I wish they'd knock it off. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not going under the house because there's nobody here. This door, I found that open, and uh, <clears throat> open doors are uncool especially with houses for sale signs in the front yard. I've got a craftsman selling this house in Greenville. It's been broken into twice. But they put a camera out, <clears throat> and they got the guy on film. He came back again. <sighs> Maybe he didn't get enough stuff. But they got him on, on film now. Um, I see stuff on this side, and it makes me worried because I would have sworn you told me this side was good. Let me give you an illustration. Um, Look up underneath that AC unit. Where I see it. See that? One below it, one below that, one below that. Okay, and it looks like at that peak. 
So <clears throat> what I'm going to try to do is let the computer work for us a little bit. And this is my bad guy with the super duper zoom. Um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> get a shot of the whole thing. And what I'm hoping I can do <clears throat> is demonstrate where we have to remove or replace where we find bad stuff. Um, and we'll start the peak. All right, let me get up here. I'm going to run the scene. All right, you see activity there? See those boards when I traverse left to right? See that? See that? I think that's where we found below the AC unit, and it is. Let's go back to the scene. See that? See that? The scene was very poorly done. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's good. And there's a the gutter at the bottom. Okay. Now, um, I'll get some shots in the middle. Oh, there we go. I'll make you dizzy if you look at it closely. See that? Right in line with the window. Let's go to the left of the window. There's a bunch over here to replace. See that? And I want to see the roof line real close. See that? See that? Find the gutter, same as other way. Okay. Anyhow, that's low enough so we can see. But um, the left side demonstrates that there's quite a few boards here. And I'll kind of peek in the middle. And the last thing I want to tell you is there's an awful lot of boards here on this side. I can't see on the other side of that roof. But I'm going to go after I've used the camera to see this. I'm fearful of not being able to see that. So uh, let's see if we can see that. <clears throat> All right. Now there's a hole there. Man, that's very well done. Leaning out just a tiny little bit. And there's the old one. How about that? All right. Let's see what we can see. Start with the corner. Run the roof line. Yeah. Looks pretty good over here. Okay. that roof line right there with the peak. Yeah, not good. Mm, can't hold it still. That looks like Hardy. Can't tell. Let me get it on my get off. <clears throat> Samsung. Really, really, really nice monitor just for this kind of stuff. And um ah, that was a Hardy and a good lap on the outside. So um <clears throat> First piece of masonite looks good because I'm trying to minimize and start with the seam, maybe run that way. Let me get a length to this back side. Okay, there he is. How about that? One, two, four, ten, thirteen. All right, so that's 40 feet. All right. Bunch and bunch and bunches and bunches of siding here. 
Um, I'm going to let you tell me what to do with this seam. We've talked about it. It's not very well done. Okay. I'm going to keep going to see if I can get you a quote based on this kind of information. Thank you a lot.